good morning children welcome back to our online classes in our last video we have started with the new chapter that is chapter number 1 reproduction in organisms today we will continue with the same chapter in our last video we have studied about life span we have seen the life span of different organisms we have learned the types of reproduction that is asexual and sexual reproduction we have learned about modes of asexual reproduction in which we have studied about fission binary fission and multiple fission we have studied about budding we have studied about spore formation and vegetative propagation is left today we will start with the same this is about binary fission in amoeba then multiple fission then budding then spore formation and asexual uh, reproductive structures that is motile zoospores which are found in chlamydomonas conidia which are found in penicillium hydra sorry birds which are produced by hydra and gemmules this we have studied we have completed this in our last video today we will start with vegetative propagation children asexual reproduction in plants is commonly known as vegetative propagation and uh, it is the process of formation of a new plant from the vegetative part of the plant the vegetative parts of the plants are roots stem leaves so from this vegetative plant when the new plant is produced it is called vegetative propagation the new plant gets detached from the parental plant okay the new plant which is produced from the vegetative part it will get detached from the parent plant and then it will live its individual life so this is known as vegetative propagation the vegetative propagation takes place with the help of vegetative propagules this process it helps in multiplication of seedless plants like sugarcane banana and the process is known as asexual reproduction because it does not involve two parents it involves only single parent only one parent is involved and from the vegetative part of that parent plant the new plant is developed so it is called vegetative propagation and it is a mode of asexual reproduction it plants now vegetative reproduction occurs by two ways the first way is the natural vegetative propagation and the second one is the artificial vegetative propagation now natural vegetative propagation uh, takes place by different vegetative propagules like with the help of roots the roots produce the birds on it and this birds later grow into leafy shoot which are known as slips and this slips grow above the ground whereas at the base of the uh, slips there will be formation of adventitious roots this slip or you can say that each slip then gave rise to the new plant example is sweet potato dahlia guava tinospora yam etc so this all plants they propagate with the help of roots root is the vegetative part of the plant as from the root the new plant is developed with the help of a vegetative propagule called root which develops into slip it is known as vegetative propagation second is the underground stem underground modified stem they possess the birds which grow into the new plant and some of the types are suckers you can see here suckers then rhizomes even this tuber bulbs this are the underground stems which helps in the propagation which helps in multiplication which helps in formation of a new plant okay let us talk about this first that is sucker 
suckers arise from the base of the erect shoot grow horizontally in the soil and come out to form a new aerial shoot this shoots become independent when suckers break away from the parent plant for example mint chrysanthemum they all mint chrysanthemum they propagate propagate or you can say they produce a new plant with the help of sucker which is the underground modified stem the second one is the rhizome rhizomes are modified stems with buds and sufficient food storage in it a piece of rhizome small piece of rhizome containing bud can give rise to a new plant this method is used in propagation of plants like ginger turmeric banana lotus and many more okay now let us talk about bulb bulb are highly reduced underground stem with a number of buds on it example uh, onion lilies garlic etc then let us talk about tuber tubers are modified underground stem branches having several buds on it which are called eyes each eye of the potato is a bud which grows into a new potato plant when planted with a portion of swollen tuber the potato crop is raised by tubers not by the seeds then if we talk of creeping stem vegetative propagation by the means of creeping stem is categorized into two that is uh, by the runners the first one runners and by offsets okay now runners are modified stems which produce the adventitious roots at nodes each node give rise to the aerial shoot which becomes a new plant example in oxalis and in grasses then if we talk of offsets offsets are uh, one internode long runner which develop tuft of leaves tuft of leaves means group of leaves are produced at the apex example is water hyacinth and pistia pistia is also known as water lettuce ecornia water hyacinth is also known as ecornia okay now if we talk of water hyacinth or ecornia it is an aquatic plant which is uh, also called the terror of bengal why because it propagates vegetatively at an alarming rate at, that is in a very short period of time it can spread throughout the water body and when it spreads throughout the water body or when it covers the complete water body it drains oxygen from the body which leads to the death of the fishes and other aquatic animals of that water body water hyacinth was introduced in india because of its beautiful flowers and shape of the leaves but eventually it caused death of the rivers and lakes due to its uncontrolled growth okay then uh, aerial stems also help in propagation aerial modified stems of cactus develop into new plant when the segment of the stem falls on the ground this act as the means of vegetative propagation like opuntia etc then leaves also help in propagation which you have already studied in 10th class that is about bryophyllum some plants like bryophyllum they develop adventitious buds on their leaves which gets detached and develop into new plant example is bryophyllum kalonchi begonia etc and the this ability is fully exploited by the farmers for their commercial benefits then the next one is the bulbil 
this are the fleshy birds which are produced in the axil of the foliage leaves in place of the axillary birds and they grow to form the new plant when they shed or they fall off on the uh, ground for example agave then uh, oxalis then el elium sativum lily etc the new plantlet in the plants like potato sugarcane banana then dahlia ginger etc they arise invariably from the nodes present in the modified stem of this plants when these nodes comes in contact with the damp soil and water they produce roots and new plants because of the meristematic cells present in them okay now see this is uh, this picture shows about the vegetative propagules wherein first you can see this is the tuber of potato which helps in the propagation okay then this is about the sucker you can see sucker grows horizontally in the soil and then produces the aerial shoot this is the offset here you can see with the help of offset a new plant can be produced this is bryophyllum leaf at the notches of the bryophyllum leaf the uh, adventitious birds are developed which then grow into the new plant roots are produced leaves are produced and then this adventitious birds get detached from the parent body when it falls down in the soil the roots anchor the soil and the new plant is produced okay then this is about the runner okay this is runner you can see from one parental body above the ground the uh, stem is modified okay this is aerial stem or oh, sorry this is a creeping stem so it produces the adventitious bird and then the new plant is developed this is the bulbil bulbil of a gif and with the help of uh, this bulbil the new plant is developed and this is the rhizome example is ginger rhizome have nodes and internodes you can see linings on it right so that linings are called nodes and at the nodal regions the adventitious birds uh, develop and then that adventitious birds develop into a new plant okay so that is all about the uh, natural methods of uh, vegetative propagation there are artificial methods also with the help of which the propagation takes place um uh, artificial as the name is given it is uh, it occurs with the help of uh, human beings okay and uh, so you can see that propagation occurs with the help of human beings so it is called the artificial method and there are different methods of artificial vegetative propagation like cuttings in this method a small piece of any plant organ say for example stem root or leaf is used for the propagation example leaves of bryophyllum then roots of tamarind stems of sugarcane uh, grapes rose and bougainvillea okay cuttings it's it's very simple the stem of the plant is cut in a slanting way okay and then that stem is kept in the soil wherein it will produce a new roots it will then develop new leaves right so from the stem the new plant is develops and that process is known as cutting but this occurs with the help of human beings human beings uh, do this so it is called artificial vegetative propagation the second artificial vegetative propagation is layering and in this method uh, roots are artificially in, induced on the stem branches before they are detached from the parent plant okay very simple which you have already studied in 10th class what happens suppose uh, this is the stem of the plant okay the basal the stems are buried in the soil and they are buried in the soil so from this nodal region of the stem the new roots will be developed okay so the 
roots are induced they are uh, they are grown when they are buried in the soil they will grow okay and after the formation of the roots a new plant or a new shoot will arise above the soil and once the new shoot arises above the soil the basal stem which was buried in the soil will get detached from the parent body again this process that is layering process is done with the help of human beings so it is called artificial vegetative propagation then the third one is grafting grafting also uh, is the artificial vegetative propagation and in this method parts of two stems are joined in such a way that they grow as one plant the rooted supporting portion of one plant is called the stock s t o c k stock it is joined with the twig of another plant which is called cion example is rose then apple plum peach mango etc i hope you have understood this okay suppose say for example two plants are there plant a and plant b okay now we want that both the plants are growing together right so what is done both the plants are the stem of both the plants is uh, cut in the slanting way the stem of one plant the uh, stem of the plant which is which have roots and is attached to the soil is known as the stock whereas the above part is known as cion okay so suppose the stock this is the stock of stem or plant a okay then the cion of plant b is taken and it is grafted like this then both the plants both the stem the stock and the cion are attached they are tied with the help of a cloth okay and it is kept as such right now because of the meristematic tissues the uh, plants will grow okay there will be formation of new roots there will be formation of new leaves okay and this process is known as grafting again this occurs with the help of human beings human beings only do this so it is known as artificial vegetative propagation the fourth artificial vegetative propagation is the micro propagation this method includes propagation of uh, plants by culturing the cells or tissues or organs in laboratory which is known as the tissue culture and initially this forms an undifferentiated mass of cells which is known as callus and later on this callus differentiate to produce many small plantlets okay again it's very simple the tissues or the cells or the organ of the plant is taken and it is grown in the laboratory okay and initially when the growth occurs in the artificial medium in the laboratory the mass of cells will be produced which is called callus and later this callus gets differentiated into small plantlets means it will start producing the roots it, it will produce the shoot okay and in that this way the complete plant will be developed so again this is done with the help of human beings so it is artificial vegetative propagation so that is all about asexual reproduction we have completed asexual reproduction asexual reproduction is the mode of reproduction in which only one parent is involved okay and uh, there is no formation and fusion of gametes right and the uh, offsprings which are produced they are exact copies of each other or they are exact copies of their parents okay and they undergo mitotic cell division only yeah one more thing uh, as the offsprings which are produced uh, are morphologically and genetically similar they are called clones of each other Uh, so that is all for today's uh, class in our next uh, class we will be studying about sexual reproduction as uh, you already have the idea of this topic i hope you all might have felt very easy okay so that's all for today in our next video we will start with the sexual reproduction thank you